Biggest hurdles a rookie quarterback has to face in his first training camp. Ah, uh, shoot. That's, that's that's a very good question, but it's probably, probably a pretty lengthy answer. Um, and I think I've used this analogy in the past, but you know, anytime that you're new to a system and you have everything on the, on your plate, like a quarterbacks do in the National Football League, not only are you trying to learn just what you have to do, uh, but you got to direct traffic for everybody else. Okay, so you got to you got to be able to spit the play call out in the huddle. And some of them are, are shorter than others, um, but that's just part of it. That's just getting the play started. Then, then once you get up there, you got to be able to react um, to what the defense is giving to you. And uh, you know, we're getting multiple looks from our defense right now, which is really good for us. It's challenging us every day offensively um, to stay stay up to, up with the defense. Stay one step ahead of the defense. Um, so not only are you managing your game, but the game of the, the players in the huddle with you, and then also having to react to what the defense is giving you. So there's a lot coming out of young guy. As, as far as Clayton's done so far, what has he done well and what does he need to do better? Well, I think he's done a good job. His grasp of the system is, is good for where we are at this point, how long he's been here. Um, his ability to communicate that in the huddle, his demeanor in the huddle is really good. Um, you know, I think he does a really good job enunciating the play calls. There's no like, what was the play? You guys hear it. Um, so he's very demonstrative in that way. I think he handles himself with poise at the line of scrimmage. Um, and now he's just getting comfortable with the reads and the progressions. You know, uh, what happens when number one and number two is not there? Where's where's number three? Or I skip from one to three. Okay, knowing exactly where that guy is and how my feet are coordinated with the throw and all those things that just take a little bit of time. Mike, we haven't had a chance. Does that answer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to talk to Jeff Stoutland yet in this camp, but watching Andre Dillard, it sure seems like he's just smooth as glass out there. Uh, you got some time with the lunch today. Uh, I like the way he said that. Lunch? Yeah, he's uh, he certainly is um, doing a really nice job. Um, he's taking the instruction that Coach Stoutland's given him. Um, as we know, you know, Coach Stoutland's one of the best line coaches uh, in the in the NFL, and has done a great job and and you know bringing him up to speed. Um, and he's got a lot of the same things we we're just talking about. It's, when we say quarterback, it's not just quarterback. It's really everybody. Everybody in their own world, looking through their straw, you know, kind of has to deal with those same things. And um, I think that you know that Andre's done a really good job of just coming in here. He's steady. Uh, he's working hard every day, and you can see him kind of settling in uh, and getting more and more comfortable and more confident each day. Is Kelsey's absence a veteran day? Well, I think Coach just does a great job of managing these guys throughout the course of camp. So there's nothing wrong uh, with, with Jason, and Coach will continue to manage you know, all the guys uh, throughout camp just to make sure that we're fresh and ready to go. Mike, Mike, as a counter to what you were saying about Clayton, Cody's here, got here late, but he's a veteran quarterback. Seems to have picked up pretty quickly yeah. where to go with the football and things yeah. like that. What does he bring to the offense? Yeah, you know, um, I like the way you state that. You know, Cody's done a really good job. Uh, of coming in late and acclimating himself quickly to our system. He has the benefit of having been in a couple different systems in the NFL. Um, coming from a pro style offense like he played in at SC, so he's got a lot of background. Um, and once you start to build up and bank, uh, you know, different, different concepts and things like that, you can fall back on that experience. And he's done a really good job with that. Um, I think he, just, just like Clayton, he's really good in the huddle, he's confident. Uh, he's really steady in terms of you know his emotional level each and every day, and does a good job distributing the football. With uh, Kelsey out, uh, Isaac stepped in and played center and Wiz at left guard. Is that sort of how you would see that progression going? I think it was just around? a good opportunity to get Isaac some work at center. Wiz has been getting a bunch of work at center, so uh, just an opportunity to work both guys there at that spot. As you know, we're you know you never know how things could turn out over the course of the season, so just trying to um, you know be preemptive with that. I guess it was pretty grueling practice, a lot of live periods. What what are some your takeaways from what the offense did, how they performed? Yeah, I thought, you know, we had some some good plays. We had some plays that, you know, we think that we need to improve on. And, uh, you know, you could even say that some about, you know, period to period. We had, you know, even we had good periods. We had some periods that um, where we probably underperformed a little bit, what our expectation is. Uh, and that's part of training camp. Um, there's a little bit of ebb and flow, you know, offense and defense of football. And uh, I just like the way the guys work. They're focused on the, on the task at hand. Um, what we want to get out of the practice, uh, carrying the pads for the second day in a row, uh, and that's that's part of the rigors of training camp. And I thought they handled that well. Any individuals that may have stood out uh, to you? That uh, I mean, nothing that you guys wouldn't have been able to observe, you know, on on the side. But uh, 
Um, you know, this game we made some good plays down the field. Um, well, it was a really good play. Uh, JJ just heads up and then was able to show off his speed a little bit, which was, was exciting. What's yeah. it been like uh, coaching Deshaun Jackson, kind of getting to know him since he's gotten here? Uh, well, he, he's been, I, I think I may have said this one other time, but he's, uh, he's been a real pro since he's been here as a, uh, a guy who's been in the receiver room, you know, a position coach. Uh, he, he's uniquely talented and can do just about anything that you ask him to do from a route, you know, and physical standpoint. So that's a lot of fun uh, as a coach to say, hey, run this route and you can just say it and he gets it and he can go out there and do it and then, you know, beat whoever is trying to, you know, stop him from doing that. Uh, that's exciting as, as a coach. Uh, and as a teammate, I think he's done a great job of coming in, uh, ingratiating himself uh, with his teammates and, and becoming one of the Eagles. Mike, having him out there just as a threat, how much does that open things up really for everybody else, even if he's double team going up? Right. That's, that's, I think that's a good question. Um, probably an even better question for Jim. Um, but for us, we, we know that the threat, and you know, to answer from a defensive perspective, the threat is always there. You know, the quick strike is always there wherever you are in the field. So I think they need to make, you know, be cognizant of, of who's matched up on if they want to play man to man, who's matched up on them. Are they going to match him? If they're doing that, then they're light somewhere else. Um, and, you know, they're, you know, just like we are, they're, they're trying to get their system in and run their system. So it's not game plan oriented. But you have to know at least the guy who's lined up across from him in the back of his mind, he said, this guy can go by me in a second and we can, you know, we can give up seven quick. So I think that threat uh, is always helpful for any offense. I mentioned JJ yesterday showing off his speed, you know, with his contested catch ability of size. Everybody talks about that. Do you think he surprises some people with just how fast he is? I don't know that. I mean, but he, he certainly looked fast enough on that play, didn't he? I mean, uh, there was a couple guys that, that we would consider that, that run pretty well on our team and they weren't able to catch him. So um, just from our perspective, I thought that was pretty encouraging, particularly, you know, at the end of practice. Like you guys mentioned, that was, you know, that was towards the end of a two and a half, two hour and 40 minute practice. And uh, and uh, to be able to pull away like that was, was pretty impressive. Carson, can you compare Carson um, this year versus last year coming off the ACL? How much better? I'm, I'm assuming he looks a lot better in camp than he did this time last well, year. Well, I, I always uh, try not to get into comparisons, uh, whether it's one player uh, versus another guy or, you know, year over year or things like that. Uh, all I can tell you is this, is Carson is operating really well. Um, you know, I think he's, he's uh, you know, free of mind, uh, body and, and, and heart right now, and he's um, he's a leader of our team. Uh, he's playing at a high level for us right now. He's, he's embracing uh, everything that we're giving him and, uh, and really doing a good job each and every day coming out here, being efficient with the football, um, spreading the ball around. You know, everybody's, uh, everybody's involved, and I think everybody's having fun right now playing offense. Last time we spoke with Miles Sanders' case, did not see much of him yet. Right. Last You've had three more sessions. Yeah. What stood out now that you've had exposure to pads and things like that? Yeah. Um, like you said, he's we've been able to get him in there more. Uh, I think he's feeling good with his, his fitness level. I think he's getting more confident um, coming off the hamstring there in the, in the spring. And, uh, you know, he's just, he, again, he's just learning how to run our plays. Um, but there's been some plays where, you know, you look standing at it from behind where you say, wow, you know, that was that was a really good cut right there. Um, unique, unique skill level in the hole in, in a short area, and being able to to uh, make quick cuts and then and then get vertical. And he's he's made some plays in the passing game down the field. Um, I know it was you know uh, uh, Vinny you know peeling out on him on the one down the field the other day, but it was still an over the shoulder you know throwing catch, really good throw by Carson and uh, good play by by Miles. On your side of the field, uh, but you're out there with him every day on the defense. You know, who, is there anyone that's really kind of caught your eye? Oh wow, we got a good defense. Um, we really do. I mean, they, they, uh, they do a lot of really good things. Their scheme is really good. They're well coached. And uh, we've, got, we've got a lot of good players. And we've got to know, again, we've got to know where they are. You know, like, I think Joe, Joe's having a really good camp, Joe Osman. Um, you, know, our, you know, a couple of our DBs have, have made some really good plays. Um, you know, up front, Timmy Jernigan's a load. So, uh, you know, we've got a lot of guys. We've got our hands full every day, which is great. You know, we've got a great challenge. I think we're up to it. Uh, each and every day, but um, it's nice to have those guys on our team. Like uh, JJ was saying yesterday in that second live session when you were able to go down and score, uh, that, you know, it was more spontaneous instead of that, as opposed to that first one where it was, it was scripted. Is that something that you, you look at? And I mean, we're kind of happy to see that you were able to just kind of make things up as you go, kind of, in that second one. Or, and do so a lot the, of, the second drive, I'm sorry? Second, uh, live session yesterday, you know, when you 
And is that when you had a lot more success than the first one? You yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, the, the second, yeah. Uh, we scored on the first play right, and then we had another another good drive. Carson hit the, the deep ball to Nelly, and we were able to finish the drive off and score. Um, don't want to find ourselves in uh, third and 20 or whatever the heck we were. Uh, very often, um, percentages of, of converting that are pretty low, but it was a great great play, great throw by Carson, heck of a catch by Nelly, and uh, we were able to finish the drive off. So, um, you know, that's positive. Um, really our first, you know, move the ball type of period. Uh, live, like you said, that was a positive finish for us. Alshon made a few tough catches today. At this point in his career, are there still things you look for in July and August, or just a matter of getting September? Look for in terms of what, Zach? Oh yeah, shoot. If if anybody's out here who doesn't think they can get better, then then they're not in the right sport, not in the right profession. So, um, you know, I, I know Alshon's determined to uh, to come out of here each and every day. Um, and we challenge those guys, uh, you know, get, get 1% better. And if we all do that collectively, you know, if you just look at it from an offensive perspective in the, in the, in the first two units, and we walk off the field 22% or 44% better each day, um, then, we're, then we're doing pretty good. So, um, you know, Alshon knows he can get better. He's challenged with, with uh, the little things. He knows the system. He knows the plays. He doesn't have to think about the plays anymore, which really frees up your mind and allows, allows your talent to take over. And uh, I think he's really comfortable in the system and, and where he's at right now with his game as we continue to build to, to week one against Washington. Speaking of getting better, Greg Ward, you've had him for three summers now as a receiver's coach. Right. How much has he improved just from those early days of being right. a quarterback? I think he's improved a lot, and I think his time, uh, um, you know, playing football in the spring uh, before that league folded really helped him. He was able to just get out there and, and, and play ball. Um, you know, as, as a receiver, you kind of can learn what works, what moves work, what releases work, you know, how I can win at the top of my route to create some separation, and you just need an accumulation of those reps. And because there's different routes all the time, you, you know, you don't get – it's like going to the driving range, bringing your whole bag, like and, and trying to hit every club. You need to just narrow the focus down and work on a, a couple routes at a time. And the only way to do that is to have time. And he's had three years, so that's a lot of time. He's he's run the routes enough, and he's just been in this system and one other. Uh, so the familiarity is there. He doesn't have to think about what to do. It's more about how to do it and any adjustments that I might have, might have to make based on what the defense is doing. So he's having a, a, a good camp. Yep, yep. Thank you, guys.